now calling upon the national government to declare the fall army worm infestation in the region a national disaster. As the army worm eats its way through maize plantations in the region at devastating speed, farmers say they have tried every possible chemical out there, but the worms simply cannot be stopped. In this week's episode of The Next Frontier, Philip K. Tan visited the region and tells us of the sorry state of affairs in the country's food basket. That is the kind of desperation that maize farmers in Transoia, the country's breadbasket, are going through at the moment as the fall armyworm continues with its devastating destruction of hectares upon hectares of maize plantation in the region. When the cabinet secretary was here, we were only talking of Kiminini sub-county and Kwanza. Right now, even Cherangani, Endebes, all the sub five sub-counties in Transoya has been affected. With extension service providers and farmers not having much experience on how to control and manage the fall armyworm, the county government of Transoya formed a platform to coordinate development of intervention strategies. However, there are not enough funds available for its implementation. We are looking at over 10,000 hectares, which is 25,000 acres already affected. We've managed to spray uh, over 10,000 acres. We find that is just, uh, just uh, quite a small percentage. Endemic to the Americas, the fall armyworm can produce at a staggering rate, with each female laying about 1,000 eggs in a 10-day lifetime. We need to be able to rotate and advise farmers that you should not use the same chemical continuously, that in the next spray you rotate. Although the fall armyworm is known to attack more than 80 plant species, in East Africa it prefers maize, a crucial staple and a cash crop. The practice of monoculture farming where lots and lots of maize here planted as far as the eye can see might now prove costly for Kenya as it provides the fall armyworm which specializes in cereals with a countrywide all-you-can-eat buffet. Unfortunately, the thing about the pest is that it can start attack every stage of the crop. Whether it is tussling, whether it is at the silking stage, it can still attack. As ever, the fallback option for stakeholders was to nuke them with chemicals. But which chemicals? As the fall armyworm is a new pest in Kenya and no pesticide was previously registered to be used against it. This, chemi this pest might develop resistance to what we already have. So we need to go back, to, then we'll be forced to go back to the drawing board to develop stronger products for the fall army woman. This attack on Kenya's food security has been compounded by an X factor, climate change. That is drought followed by lots of rain, a perfect scenario for the fall army worms. I'd say the weather has been very unfair to the farmer and very conducive for the multiplication of this pest. And that's why we are having reinfestation. Nothing is certain at this point, as it is clear that the infestation is spreading rapidly without a containment measure from any quarters. Now the county government of Transoya is calling on the national government to declare the infestation a national disaster and invoke a state of emergency, as this entomological suicide squad will cost a lot of money to control. As the fall, armyworm continues with its destructive march across Kenyan farms. Now Transoya maize farmers are warning that if the government doesn't come out and help find a lasting solution, 50% of the current crop is at risk of being lost. Philip Keitang for The Next Frontier.